Hello, I'm Sarah Bentley, Chief Executive of the Building Futures Group. As many of you may know, back in March, we officially became the Building Futures Group following the merger of Asset Skills, the Cleaning and Support Services Association and the Facilities Management Association. There have been some really interesting developments over the last few months and many more planned, which I'd like to share with you now. We've made some wide-ranging changes to our membership offer, which we hope you will see will be for the better. We have a range of benefits available, one of which is that our members will be part of an organisation that proactively lobbies for change on their behalf. We'll be continuing our networking events, creating the opportunity for our members to do business with each other, something that is so important to enable their future growth. Through Asset Skills Training, we'll be delivering a comprehensive, employer-focused training package too for each of the sectors that we represent, and these will be reduced in price for our members. On top of all that, we'll be having our advice and guidance services, promotional opportunities for our members, and the chance for them to be part of campaigns that will make a real difference to the industry. One of the drivers behind the merger was to help our members see a reduction in the fees that they paid. And I'm really pleased to say that we've been able to deliver on that promise, with 51% of our members seeing an improvement in the fees that they used to pay, and 41% seeing no change in the fees that they paid. As we look ahead to year two, we can see that 51% will still be paying a lower fee than they paid previously. If you have any questions about joining the Building Futures Group or the fees that we charge now, please contact Hazel Langley. Asset Skills Training is the training arm of the Building Futures Group. At Asset Skills, we have years of industry experience and expertise, and therefore the training we design is designed by employers and for employers that make sure it's relevant, fit for purpose, and really does meet their needs. From the training we've delivered so far, we've received excellent feedback, and we continue to try to improve the quality of the training we deliver so that it remains fit for purpose. We have a suite of training that we offer too, which runs right through from entry level through to senior management. We will be delivering high quality customised workplace training through Asset Skills Training. We'll be offering training in the areas of building maintenance, cleaning, facilities management, housing, property and parking. We will also be offering bespoke courses for our members to make sure we can really meet their needs on specific areas affecting their business. We've been given great credentials already and have been recognised by DWP for our quality and expertise in the training that we have delivered. Our training is delivered both online and face-to-face -to, -face to meet the specific needs and budgets of our members. Our courses vary in cost but are competitively priced with our members receiving discounts on many of the courses that we offer. Therefore, SMEs right through to large corporations can take advantage of the courses and training that's available. We've really worked hard to make sure our members shape the training that we offer. For example, our CSSA membership base have created the courses that we now deliver to the cleaning industry. They've tested them, trialled them, fed back to us, and we're confident that we have a great portfolio of courses now for the cleaning industry. Within the Building Futures Group, we have many exciting developments in the pipeline for the future, many of which I'll be able to reveal to you over the coming weeks and months. But what I can definitely say is that we'll be having an industry round table later in the year focusing on sustainability and the environment in the cleaning industry. We'll also be running a campaign to raise the profile of FM and cleaning across the UK, something that is much needed and was a driver behind the merger. We'll also be making sure we have responses and representation to UK government, ensuring our members' views are represented and they get a place at the right tables to put their views forward. I'll be using my blog over the coming months to discuss further topical issues. I'll also be out and about visiting our members and tapping into key areas of interest to them. Most importantly, I want to hear from and meet with our members, so please do get in touch.